Lab armor beads can be used in most general purpose water baths and dry baths with exposed or recessed heating elements that are centrally located. You should avoid using beads in shaking baths, circulating baths, and some European made baths with float switches. Shallow water baths that are less than 5 inches or 13 centimeters in depth and deep water baths that are greater than 8 inches or 20 centimeters in depth should also be avoided. Beads can support most types of vessels without racks or bottleneck weights, including non-watertight plates. For samples that require agitation, simply place a tray of beads on a standard laboratory rotator inside a general use incubator. To prepare your water bath for beads, power off the bath, unplug it, pour out any water, and thoroughly clean and dry it. Next, fill the bath with beads to approximately 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters from the top of the bath. You may notice different sized beads. This is normal. Then plug the bead bath in, power on the bath, and set it to the desired temperature. Allow the beads to equilibrate overnight or after 5 to 10 minutes you can stir the beads briskly with a stir rod and allow the bead bath to equilibrate over 2 to 5 hours. Keep the bead bath powered on except when performing maintenance. It's important to keep the beads dry at all times. However, Natural condensation on cold vessels will not harm the beads. Plan for longer warming or thawing times with the bead bath. Warming of cold or frozen vessels may take one and a half to two and a half times longer in a bead bath than a water bath, depending on the size of the vessel. For precision applications, you should validate old water bath protocols to avoid under or overheating samples. Use a Lab Armor bead bath for incubation above 50 degrees centigrade up to 80 degrees centigrade to avoid uneven temperature gradients typical of most conventional water baths. For thawing, bring frozen vessels to 4 degrees centigrade in a refrigerator or just prior to immediate use, bring the sample to room temperature on the bench top before placing in beads to reduce incubation times. Periodically agitate larger cold vessels and relocate to warmer zones in the bead bath. And when possible, fully submerge vessels in the beads. Bead baths require minimal cleaning and don't need to be regularly monitored, emptied, or refilled. A spray application of 70% ethanol stirred in every few weeks is sufficient. If something is spilled in the bead bath, Simply scoop out the beads, wash with a mild dish detergent and clean water. Spray with 70% ethanol, then use an absorbent pad or paper towels to thoroughly dry the beads. Never return wet beads to the bath. When cleaning the beads, avoid using strong acids and bases, including bleach solutions and other strong corrosive detergents, and do not autoclave the beads.